Thank you so much guys and uh, in this video we would be learning about the different types of campaigns that you can create in Google Ads right so just jump in to learn them and meanwhile if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so watch to the entire playlist in this channel I would bet that by the time you watch these entire videos you'd become a master at using Google Ads but you but you really wanted to gain that experience of working like a professional then I would recommend you to you know learn from someone who can give you access to a real-time account see working on account that invest thousands of rupees it will not work out you have to work on account that have that like, thousands of campaigns invest like lakhs and crores of rupees right so if you work on these accounts and that's when you get to understand so for that you have to go to training you don't go to training for any of the reasons if you're going for training to learn these things you're wasting your time right so today's topic is uh, uh, the types of campaigns that you can create in Google Ads so to go to campaigns you have all campaigns and go to campaigns tab and then click on new and when you click on new campaign it will show me all the objectives there there are, there are generally six type of objectives right just like you log into a Facebook uh, account ad account and you try and create campaigns in Facebook Ads manager you have objectives right there's 11 objectives you choose similarly right here Google shows you these uh, goals right so if ever you work on an AdWords account remember whenever you create a campaign you have these things that you find in the first screen so the first one is sales so when you when you select this your objective will primarily be focused on getting sales and leads the third one is website traffic fourth one is product and brand consideration fifth one is brand awareness and reach and uh, app promotion right so I'm not going with any of them because if you choose any of these things what will Google do is Google will only give you those features which are applicable for that particular goal but there is another option here if you read this carefully something called without a goal so when you select this option what happens is you'll find all the features you can go and choose whatever feature you want to pick right rather if I go with lead system will only try and give me those features which are particularly helpful for lead generation and all so I go with a campaign which is without a goal and once I select this it is shown show me all the campaigns right so in this video I'm going to specifically talk about the type of campaigns that we have there are one two three four five six six type of campaigns that you have right smart campaigns earlier was not there it is incorporated into Google Ads very recently earlier smart campaigns was called as Google AdWords Express campaigns for that you have to create an Express account Google Ads Express account and there you run ads and the beauty of Ads Express is to serve your ads to people who are searching from the local vicinity and it is it is available for those people who have a Google My Business listing account right so now you don't have that anymore Google incorporated the Ads Express into Google Ads because they wanted one solid inter interface or one primary interface for every advertising uh, requirement of yours so they are called as smart campaigns so in case you are worried about what is this smart campaign remember their AdWords Express campaigns right the first First one is search network campaign search network campaign I've told you already you show your ads on google.com and search partners but primary motive of search network is to show your ads to people who are already searching for you it is more of a bottom of the funnel marketing because they have they have seen you they have known you they got engaged with you or they consider you and finally they decided to know more about you or they search on Google right so you show your ads to people who are searching on Google and your ad will appear to those people which is search network display network is you show your ads you know not when they are searching but they are browsing on the internet and this Google display network consists of more than 3 million plus websites so when you create a campaign targeting Google display network right your ads will appear on 3 million websites now it does not mean your ad will appear everywhere anywhere you can choose where your ad should appear you can choose what websites your ad should appear you can choose what kind of people your ad should be served to right but it's more of an identity based marketing because they're not looking for you you're looking for them right shopping uh, campaigns I think you might be aware so if I go to google.com if I type something called buy DSLR cameras right so remember I taught I taught you already there are text ads that will appear on google.com but there are other ads as well we don't call them image ads these are called as shopping ads earlier name of shopping ads we call we used to call them as product listing ads so if you want to promote your ads like this it is particularly important for people who are into e-commerce businesses and selling products primarily right so if you want your ads to be served like this on google.com then you go with a campaign objective called a campaign type called shopping campaigns video I think you might already be aware when you go to YouTube you find a skippable ad and non skippable ad right when you search on YouTube you find ads below the search results when you're watching a video beside the right side you find a video and when you're watching a video in the video you find a skippable ad and non-skippable ad they're all coming from this particular campaign and uh, last one is the smart campaign uh, sorry app campaign the primary objective th this campaign is to drive app installs so if you're working with an advertiser whose intention is to drive app installs you can, can go create a campaign but to create this campaign you must first have your app in Play Store or iOS right so whatever is 
is objective you have a requirement you want to promote your business through whatever channel with whatever medium you can use google ads so these are the five different type of campaigns that you have and uh, you can you can do wonders with google ads provided you have the right strategy thank you so much continue to watch the other videos on the channel and uh, in my next videos i'll take you through some advanced topics don't miss any video on the channel everything is important the basics i want everybody to go through these things and uh, you watch the entire list from first to last and i bet you would have you know knowledge about every little feature in google ads so that you would learn to work and experience uh, the real time knowledge by working on a real time account thank you so much i will see you with another video and uh, stay connected thank you